Hi folks, thanks for tuning in and welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about cordage and some of the options that are out there for tying things. And I'm also going to talk about some of the tools for organizing that line and keeping it nice and tidy in your pack. So what I'll do is I'll go around the table here, I'll talk about some of the products. I'll post some information in the description section and then we will close out. So let's get started. Right here we have a very popular option. This is tarred line or bank line. And although it is tarred line, it's not going to come off on your hands. It's not going to turn your hands black. This is number 12. And that's what it looks like. It's pretty thin. It's easy to work with. And it has a tensile strength of about 100 pounds. So this is okay for those light duty jobs. In the middle we have a medium grade. This is number 18 tarred line and this has a tensile strength of about 160 pounds for perhaps more heavy duty jobs and it's another good option. And finally we have number 36 here and as you can see it's much thicker, much more robust. This has a tensile strength of about 340 pounds, so much more heavy duty line. And what I will say on a con about this line, it does have, although it doesn't come off on your hands, it does have a little bit of an odor to it. And generally I like to take the plastic off, let it sit out in the barn or the shed for a couple of weeks and allow for some of that odor to dissipate. Now over here I have some cordage and this is actually a nylon, nylon cord and it is 330 seconds nylon cord and I would say it's comparable to the 36 uh, girth um, tarred line and it's another good option and this is a good option for those projects where power cord is just too thick and you need something that's pretty strong but that's a little bit thinner. So that's what I use this for. And over here we have some 550 cord. We all know what this is used for. I mean it's got at least a thousand different uses and people make knife handles out of this and securing things to a pack, tying things to a roof. I mean it's not for climbing or anything like that. It's not that strong. I would never use it for that. But this is a 100 foot hank. It has seven inner strands and the outer casing, of course. So, fluorescent orange paracord here. And I also have it in reflective green that I picked up from Supply Captain. And this is nice for perhaps around the tent or around a tarp where you want to use your light at night and be able to see those lines. Another nice option. And here we have something that I use a lot on my projects. And this here is shock cord. And as you can see, it's very stretchy. And I like to loop this around fire steels, secure it to the outside of the sheath. And it allows me to retain it on there, but it also allows me to take it off really easily. So I think this is a better option than power cord for that specific application and once again this is shock cord. Now let's talk about some of the tools for organizing or retaining the cordage. This is perhaps the cheapest option. It's a ladder I picked up, uh, a winder from Supply Captain. It only weighs a uh, half ounce or so and it could easily hold 50 feet of power cord keeps it organized, it's not a bad option, throw it in your pack and you're good to go. Over here I have a more expensive option, this I picked up from Countycom and it is a rapid deployment system and it has a built in carabiner right here which will lock down and you can actually put this on the outside of the pack to dispense line or to retrieve it and another good option. And this is about three and a half ounces empty. And a pretty decent choice if that's something that could appeal to some folks. And lastly, 
This is my new preferred choice. I think it's one of the better tools out on the market. It's called the tool spool for retaining uh, power cord in it or any kind of cordage and it actually will do everything. It has some holes here where you can weave it through here, tie a knot, and then you could start winding it. And you could secure it on here. And these little holes are used to burn the cord and then pull it through and it allows you to make a very, very fine point. Perhaps you need a very fine point to go through a small uh, area. This area is for putting a Bic lighter, a mini Bic lighter, one of the smaller ones. It'll ride in there and it has a built-in razor blade that's removable and interchangeable. So you can see right there with the screws that allows the cord to be cut. It allows it to be singed. It allows it to be uh, trimmed down to the head size that you need. And it also has a small hole here for a carabiner. And this is ideal for securing uh, power cord or any other kind of cordage. And this weighs about two ounces empty. And this is what it looks like fully deployed. As you can see, there's the mini Bic lighter and the dispenser is protected so you don't have to worry about losing fuel it holds it in there good enough but it's relatively easy to get out but not too easy so I'm gonna put that back in there and as you can see it clips right in there like that I can secure the line here to keep it from coming out and what you're looking at there is a hundred feet now perhaps you don't need this much you could put 25 feet or 50 feet in there and make it a little bit lighter. Hook on a carabiner on the end here and attach it to the outside of a pack. And this really is full service. It allows the cord to be cut here. And I'll show you real quick how sharp that is. Look at that. Instantly cut that. I can singe it with the lighter and keep it from becoming frayed. And that takes care of that. And then I could put it through here and pull it and give it a very, very fine tip if I wanted to do that. So once again, this is the spool tool. It's one of the nicest options I've seen for uh, taking care of my cordage needs and keeping it organized in the pack. I wanted to share these items with you. Thanks for tuning in and see you all next time.